Hello, it's Gavin again from Lucid Computer Solutions. Hope you're well. So I have another unboxing and first impressions and mini review um, of another laptop today. And today it is this. And this is the Honor Magic Book 14. And I know I say this a lot, but I suppose it's because laptops um, are of high interest to me. I, this is another one I'm really, really looking forward to taking a look at. I think this is the first bit of Honor um, hardware I've seen in person. In fact, so this is genuinely first impressions for all of us here. And I've heard many good things about the Magic Books, about size, weight, value for money and performance. So should we go ahead and, and begin the unboxing process and... We'll take a look at it and we'll talk about the spec a little bit and see what we think. Like I said, I've got, I'm hoping this turns out to be something quite good. So I've got the box open. I'm just going to whiz the laptop out. So here we go. Before I go ahead and unpackage the laptop, I'm just going to take a quick look as to what else is in the box. Because at the end of the day, this is an unboxing video. So all we've got is some accessories down here, which I'm sure is just going to be our power, our power supply. And sure enough, it is. So what we've got inside the box, apart from the laptop itself, is power plug, which looks to be USB Type C. I'm sure. Yep, that is a USB Type C power cable for it so that's all you get inside the box besides the laptop itself so should we go ahead and, and take a look at this and and see what we think see whether it matches my high expectations so I've still not got it out of the wrapper yet but straight away I'll tell you that that's a nice size this is a 14 inch laptop I know it might be obvious from the fact that this is the Magic Book 14 and there's a Magic Book 15, for example. But yeah, this is the 14 and therefore a 14 inch. So it's a good size, not too small, not too big. I'm a real fan of 14 inch laptops because generally they get it right in terms of portability, size, weight, performance. Um, so yeah, here we go. Let's take this out and see what we've got. So in terms of the case of, I believe and again this is genuinely just my first impressions so don't don't quote on this but I think that is an all metal case it certainly feels like it I'm certain that is metal for a laptop of this price to have a pure metal case is really good it feels great that feels really really nice let's go ahead and and have a look here so there we go there's the laptop itself um it is as i mentioned earlier 14 inch laptop keyboard looks to be a great size no number pad because it is a 14 inch laptop which is my preference i prefer laptops without the number pads now i've not used the keyboard at all as i mentioned it's the first time seeing it so my gut instinct, first impressions from playing with that keyboard like that is, that feels like a really nice keyboard. Can't wait to have a proper go on that. That feels very tactile, got a nice little click to it. There's a bit of travel there, but not too much. It feels, dare I say it, a little bit like my Surface keyboard. But yeah, that feel, first impressions of that keyboard is, is great. So... Yeah, it, that is a nice looking machine as well. Um, that is a really, really clean, nice looking machine. I like that. Nice big touchpad by the look of it. Should we take a look what connections we've got on this? So on this side, straightforward, I have a USB port and a audio jack for my headphones. And on this side, again, this is straightforward. I've got a HDMI port, USB port and USB type C which will be for our charging cable, which we saw earlier. So not too much connectivity, but everything a home user or a real basic business user would require. So nice, real nice. So let's talk a little bit about 
the specification of this. So this is quite thin and quite light. So this one weighs about, I'm not making this up, I don't have scales built into my arms. I know that it's around about 1.4 kilograms. So it's not mega light, but it's not ridiculously heavy either, is it? So it's um, definitely portable. Uh, processor wise, AMD Ryzen 5, which is the 3500U. So um, decent processor of good speed. It's got 8 gig of RAM, the 256GB SSD in this version, Radeon Vega graphics as well. And I've been told that the keyboard is backlit on this one. I don't know if that is genuinely the case, but I've been told it is a backlit keyboard as well. Um, so that would be really nice if that's the case. So we'll take a look at that and find out. Um, battery life. Again, big tick, nine to 10 hours of battery life. So full working day. Now don't get me wrong, if you're running really intensive applications with the brightness on full, with um, external um, devices plugged into it, you're not gonna get nine to 10 hours. But having nine to 10 hours to begin with means realistically six or seven real hours in, in the real world. So decent amount of battery life in my opinion. It runs Windows 10 Home Edition. So for you business users out there who have a requirement for Windows 10 Professional, then you could technically get this if you really like this laptop, but you would need to upgrade it to Windows 10 Pro yourself because out of the box, Windows 10 Home Edition. So my first impressions of the Honor Magic Book 14 is really, really good, really impressed. I think that is a nice, clean, and what feels like solid laptop. So I think the focus for this is for people at home. I think it's for students. I think it's for maybe some real basic business use if you have put on Windows 10 Pro as well. Um, but yeah, I like the look of this, I really do. Yes, talk about price for a second, of course, which I've not mentioned. So um, this one, the Honor Magic Book 14, AMD Ryzen 5, 8 gig RAM, 256 gigabyte SSD, comes in at around about 500 pounds. Now that is on the day I'm filming this video because laptop pricing fluctuates so much and changes all the time. But right here today on the 3rd of November, uh, 2020, it is around about 500 pounds. So, so for 500 pounds, do I think this is good value? It certainly looks like it will be. This isn't a full review, and I do need to check the real world performance of this machine and push it a bit and have a go on what feels like that uh, quite impressive keyboard and make sure um, that my gut instincts are right. But yeah, I think, I think it probably is very good value for money. Um, what else is in this category? So going back a bit, a little while back, I reviewed an ASUS laptop for about 350, and this is about 150 pounds more, but this is a higher spec with uh, what feels like a much better keyboard. So it's in that bracket, and it'd be good for them to, to have a little, a little competition and see which one comes out best. But yeah, I think I will wrap this video up, but before I do, you have to do something really important for me. Click the like button down there. Really helps for the older YouTube algorithm. Really helps spread the word about our channel. Really allows us to grow the channel. So please do, if you've not done it already, smash the like button for me. Likewise, feel free to comment on the video as hopefully because you have subscribed to the channel. And if you haven't, why not subscribe now? Um, Please do comment on the video. I try and get back to everybody. I try and read all the comments and give some give some feedback. So if you have any questions or comments about this product or a similar product at this price range, please do let me know. And all the links down below are available to connect with me on LinkedIn, Twitter, and Instagram. Um, and that's about it for today. That's been me, Gavin, from Lucid Computer Solutions. I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.